previously on Legends of Dragoon. If I had known, I would have stopped Lavitz. The Dragon Buster? Are you talking about that badass looking sword? His lightsaber, if you will? Yas! It's a weapon from the old war world. Made, made only to kill Dragoon. Dragons, whack. Give tongue tie. Even with the almighty Dragoon armor, it was just a mere shroud in front of the Dragon Buster. Wait, that sexy silver-haired bastard. Why is it always the sexy silver-haired sword masters that are the bad guys? You know who you are, you silver-haired sword people. All of you. <laughs> to do it. I did I did do the joke previously of slapping a lot of lawyers on screen. I'm not gonna slap a lot of silver haired swords on screen. <laughs> oh my god. My <laughs> thinking about it. That's a that's a problem for future me when I'm editing this. I digress. And now Hello you beautiful magical creatures, Necromantic Water here. Thank you for joining my playthrough of Legend of Dragoon. Last time we had a very uh heartbreaking death and now we're gonna i'm going to assume go to to the castle not entirely sure that is just guess on my part Alrighty, i am back i decided just to cut out the forest since we've already seen all everything there i also decided to make a pit stop in luan to heal and i on the way to luan i saw that this was available i'm gonna assume this is where we go the Black Castle in Kansas. <laughs> Bite my chair right now. Oh my god. And in the process of going to Luhan, I found like a random blue, like, floating genie kind of thing. And we did like one damage to it when we hit it. And then it proceeded to just say, fuck Albert, and insta killed him. And then it ran. And this is the, I don't know what the hell that was, but that was just mean. Oh, cool. Neat. I just find that really funny that the thing was like, oh, uh, I'm gonna do I wish to insta kill and then just leave. First, the dragon dies, then the. Those, ba then those in Basil lower their guard, take advantage, attack the royal capital. Oh no. Even losing the dragon, we must have been a part of the plan, right? That's our emperor. No, 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 I was not talking to you. I was clearly facing the upper, other direction, trying to interact with the MacGuffins, see if there's any loot I can get. But these guys are surprisingly chill with people who are not wearing armor. Well, the same armor they're wearing, anyway. They say that in the battle at the Seven Fort of Pokes, there was a strategy of completely destroy the knighthood. Okay. Well, sh that's all hearsay. Shush, shush. None of that. I guess there's no loot in this building, but there's like four buildings in this place. Ah! I almost fell out of my chair. Okay. Door number two! Or, I mean, building number two. Well, same thing, really. Oh. So, are you bugging the item shop? Can you please move? Hey, are you here to register as well? I mean, sure, why the hell not? Little punk like you. I just would be a drag on everybody. I know what you're thinking. You want to make a killing by taking advantage of the victory, don't you? Sir, I have more strength in my pointy hair than you do in your muscles. So could you kindly fuck off? I just got registered. It'll be easy money for me. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what? It's a registration to be a mercenary. You said they rake in the money. Why are you joining the Sidoras? Hey, you can't feel so confident anymore. Somebody's defeated the dragon. In addition, Helena has fallen. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds neat. Like, so many, how damn, somebody beat a dragon and a paladin up? 
taken down? Wow. Sounds interesting. Tell me more. I actually don't want to register anymore. I take it back. I can't do it. But you can't do it? Why? Um, my grandpa was sick. <laughs> yeah. See, this is my brother. He came to get me. So, so yeah, I'll be out. Bye. Okay. I can only get those kind of recently. Tell ya. Change your mind. You're gonna get sent to the front lines as soon as you sign up. I mean, he'll make that face. If you have money problems, I got you. Okay. <laughs> I too just hand random people $100 for no reason. Can I sign up and be a mercenary? I don't know what it would do, but you know, more money, I guess. There is no guarantee of life for mercenaries, even at pennies worth. If you don't want to die, then don't register. Oh, wise words. You could say that for basically anything. An attack ball. What is this? It's not an accessory or something. Oh, is it just a random attack item? Cool. Neat. I'm sure I'll probably forget I have that. I always find something good in these kinds of messy places. Yay! I haven't found these in a while. Glad I'm finding these again. I wonder how many Stardusts there are in the game. Oh god. And for that matter, Stardust, how many have I found? Only nine? Huh. I thought I at least found like ten or something. You... You aren't new here, are you? Maybe. Oh my god, is this... Oh, it's the town. Is this Castelia City? With, like, how big it is this? <laughs> I think it's the city I'm thinking of. Uh, I just stayed at a hotel. I'm good. Good to know hotels everywhere seem to be just 20 money. Oh, it's been 20 years since the war has started. Can you imagine how many customers came here? Do you want to know? You'll get the kick out of it. I don't really care. Regardless of if a war has happened or not, 20 years is a long time for customers to be coming to a hotel. And I don't got time to hear stories about how many people you, you got living at your place. I got a town to explore, loot to get, bitches to kill. Perhaps in that order. Ooh, a twister glaive. Okay, why does it have to be that way? Wind based attacks. Nice chunk of increase. Oh, I guess I just casually just... <laughs> yeah, I just casually am just stealing from what I'm guessing is the shop. Is it next door? Hell yeah. Wait, I... Wait, stealing from a shopkeeper. Oh, no. That's not... Oh, no. You never steal from a shopkeeper in a video game. They will fuck you up. <laughs> I blame Kecleon for giving me PTSD. <laughs> For that. <laughs> and if I played it, I'd probably say the shopkeeper in Splunky too would also have given PTSD for that. Hey, can I talk to you for a little? You guys look like adventurers too. You could say that. You could say that very well, yes. 
Well, well. I can tell from just how you look. In addition, you're... You've been on a very risky adventure. Well, well. I can smell it from your aura. Please don't just start smelling me. I... That's very weird. Like, I had somebody in my real life doing that the other day, and it, like... Threw me for a loop. At least they, like, they said I smelled nice, and it was a nice compliment, but it was still so weird how they walked up and smelled me. I was not prepared for that, and that made that day so weird. I digress. By the way, I have a great story to tell, because, you know, you'd appreciate the real stuff. The Gucci. The supreme. Wait, no, yeah. Whatever. But just between me and you, I defeated the dragon Freya brand. Oh, wow. Tell me more. How was this dragon? You must be really strong to have beat a dragon. What? You don't trust me? Look. Just look at this. It's a feather from Firebrand. Did. Whoa. Don't touch it. You'll be poisoned by it. Did Firebrand even have feathers? I'm pretty sure it was very. It was. Like, I know it was very pre mantis like, but. Like, I think it either had scales or it was just. Very insect like. Trust me, right? I, I want to introduce this to the great project to you. It's, it's a powerful drug. Oh, fuck. That beats dragons. The dragon beater. For a little bit of time off her. Uh, I'll even give you this dragon feather for free. Oh, please. I don't want to get roped into a drug deal. Is this the guy who defeated... Is the guy who defeated Firebrand here? Oh, it must be you trying to escape, you little so-and-so. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> Come here. Get your ass over here. You're going to jail. Straight to jail. Wait, I'm just a businessman. I was lying about a dragon. Please, I'm sorry. I don't want to go to jail. Uh, so, can I just casually buy some stuff while we ignore the guy who's lying? Yeah, thanks. You're a good shopkeeper. Uh, I'm glad I actually have money to upgrade it. Or everybody but Rose. I guess. Can it some- uh, Oh, I shall be right back after selling stuff. I forgot I can't just sell everything at once. Alrighty, I'm back. I'm selling. I've sold stuff. I find it really silly how we can have like 250 something Weapons and armor, but we only have like 32 random items. God. No, I, I can't be complaining. I, I, I spent like a good portion of speaking and complaining about the inventory touches. Oh my god, I lost the key to my home. Uh, well, you know, perhaps you shouldn't have done something like that. I mean, like, it's not hard to keep your keys and important stuff in spots where they won't be lost. Just keep them, like, when you're not using them, just keep them on, like, one spot in your Gucci. Sorry, dude. Did not mean to cut you in line. Just crossing the street. I saw soldiers making scary faces and hanging out there. I mean, yeah, they were indeed doing that. There's lots and lots of scary soldiers. I can't go to Popo's house. Popo, you say? Oh, no. Oh, I did not want to leave. I wanted to check the corner for loot. But what kind of popo are we talking about? Are we talking about the cops or are we talking about the great popo himself? A few days ago, the guards became stricter. It seems they're expecting something. Hmm, interesting. Tell me more. Uh, 
Any loot? Any ju juicy, sweet, delicious loot? I'm sorry, you people are like secondary. There are two rooms in the back are called griping rooms. Your voice cannot be heard from the outside, so it's good to release stress. Uh, just like going to the cooler at Taco Bell and screaming. Well, yeah, we're just talking very loudly because people are annoying. No, I mean, I will admit there was a few times during the Taco Bell days I uh, had to go in the cooler and yell a couple of times, but I didn't get as loud as one of my coworkers. She ended up getting like so loud sometimes that like you could literally hear her scream from the cooler in the back of the store all the way in the lobby. <laughs> and it was kind of funny and scary that she'd get her voice that loud, despite the supposed to be lack of the, the uh, sound covering. Under the ground over here is the fort. Of course, it was used a lot as a fort long ago. I can't speak. But what else is new? Extra, extra! The entire force of the Imperial Knight occupies Bale! Extra, extra! Get all about it! Bale falls. The war will end soon. I mean, will it though? Okay, well. So obviously we just sneak in. Oh, there's more. Dang, they have this is. It's not expecting full on town. I was expecting a castle right honestly. When we came here, the fort was abandoned and a mess. Okay. Oh, this war is going on and on and short of medicine. I wonder how long we will endure. Hmm. Unfortunate, but that be how war is. You're in warrior. Shit happens. I was born here, but it was almost eight years since. Ah, the new Sardaria party. Hmm, yeah. I wanted to join too. Should I? You do you, boo. You do you. This looks very unfinished because it used to be a fort, but. It is a very durable, and there are many stairs to get me through here. Those are stairs, yes. <sighs> this war doesn't produce anything. It just spreads death for naught. Yeah. We don't have anything to eat. We go outside the city and look for edible plants. Although, being outside is dangerous. Yeah, there's like genie things that can just one-shot you for no reason it wasn't even like a normal one-shot it was just a it just didn't attack us to die instead death. an unnatural stove how dare you have an unnatural stove whatever the hell that means oh wow <gasps> i know another startup Fox and uh Demonstrate under the real royalism. Okay, well, that sounds like that book is above my pay grade to read. I'm a smooth brain. Oh, well, I guess that's just our little sleeping area. Still very concerned what that what the game means by unnatural stove. I mean, technically, like. All stoves are unnatural to a degree. Well, actually, not even to a degree. They just straight up are. <laughs> but, like, it's such a weird way of describing it. Hey, between me and you, uh, don't tell other people this. Listen, listen. Wait, sir? There's an empty... There's, there's something called a griping room in the city. Okay, and I already know about this. Where people go to yell and get that get that stress out which is very beneficial to do oh so what oh, yes item shop what do i oh i only have one potion yeah we need more of you
I like having at least six of the potions. It makes me feel safe. And it was actually needed since I apparently only had one left. Hey, is it true that Bale is under occupation? Does this country belong to Dole now? Hey, is that not how war works? Once you've given up your hope, you're finished. Even if it's just little remains. Oh, look, look, look at that. As long as there's some kind of hope, you'll never give up. Mm. Oh my god, I'm finding a whole bunch of Stardusts. And all I'm doing is just like, I'm sure, I'm sure it's being picked up on my mic. I'm just clicking X on everything. Oh, there's stones in the water. <laughs> yeah, all of the Stardusts. Is there like a... Okay. Well, uh, let's go to the glowing pulsating light. Oh, I, I can't interact with it. Okay. It's just the light is weirdly pulsating. Wait. Yeah, that totally looks like I can interact with that. Secret weapon shop! How are you any different from the other weapon shop? You have fate. Slightly increases attack to R. That's more than slight. Slightly increases physical defense. Do I not have a power wrist? I do. Although, you know, that doesn't really help me when I can't really look at the item in the thing. Okay, so the power wrist gives me like plus 10 to attack, it looks like. What is, how much does the fake one give me? I obviously am not going to buy it, because I probably don't need it, but like, it's still kind of neat. Okay, it's not, it's not the full-on 10, but, you know. Guess if for knockoffs, they're not bad. Oh, I can interact. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the treatment thing for the, the, the few elements that can't be treated. Okay. Oh, I guess I stepped in the magic circle. That's what I interacted with, not the weird light. Although, I guess that light is probably related to the magic circle. Okay, I understand now. Pardon me, pardon me. I wish to go down. Okay. Well, this is just an interesting town. Full of interesting people and things. And it's unfortunate that the people who are living here have to live in like such crappy lives. Welcome to the ruins of the underground fortress. You guys look like new faces. You want to join the new Serdia party? Don't you? I want to let you in, but I'm going to ask you three questions. Gotta check some things out, you see? First question is, which country do you want to win? Basil or Sandor? <laughs> I care not who wins. I cannot say which, but the important thing is to end of the war as soon as possible. Not the winning or losing. Ah, oh, I think so too. Oh, these haters. Spy remains after a fight regardless of what. Okay, see, I see, I got you. Win or lose. Second question. During the war. What should the powerless kids like us do? Uh... Just take care of home. Uh, we cannot send kids to battle, but somebody has to take care so the people we're fighting for have some place to come back to, right? I mean, in theory, you could send the kids to war, but that is highly unethical, and I'm pretty sure goes against the Geneva Convention. If that exists, well, actually, it probably doesn't exist in this world, but. 
Like I, I'm sure sending child's children to war is a, is a crime against is that. Mm -hmm, yes. Last question. Why do you have to fight? Why do people have to fight? Because people suck. That is the only reason. Because greed and envy and people are just terrible. To protect something. If war is to obtain or destroy something, I'll throw my sword away. I only fight to protect. Like, good J protagonist. Actually, wait, I think this was whatever. Like, not even a JRPG protagonist, just an RPG protagonist in general. I think so too. People who should only fight to protect something. I learned that from my grandpa. You had a good grandpa. And you are. I am Popo. I am the respective representative of the new Sergio party, campaigning help to people who are really having hard times during the war. Ah uh, yes, it is amazing! I have heard of this party! I did not think I'd find this representative. Hmm, yes, quite indeed. Would be so young. I'm kind of jealous of your young age, my child. Oh, you dumb... Did we meet somewhere? Ah, we have never met before. But you might know my face. I am Albert, the king, the dumbass who is in enemy territory, just shouting he is the king. Hmm, yes, quite indeed. I am a very extravagant soul, don't you agree? Hmm, yes, quite. I'm... I'm an idiot. Like, I, regardless of if it's a child or not, you were in enemy territory. You really should not be just proudly proclaiming your king, Albert, but... That's none of my business. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! You're the King Albert! Oh my god, what the hell are you doing, child? God damn, I wish I could just randomly do, like, backwards cartwheels like that kid was doing. I, I'm impressed, especially because he did it down the stairs, too. Oh my god. Like, that's super impressive. I've been, I've been waiting for this day to come. The King Albert to liberate Kazus to set us free. Um, that's what we're here for. To end this war. But I don't think these few people can break through the defense of the Black Castle. Ah, don't worry. We can do it, my child. Mm, yes, quite indeed. We cannot... We cannot tell you how, though. Mm, it's unfortunate. I'll have to... But it's better you don't know, my child. They say that the power that once was the god has liberated the humans from the winglies. Mm, yes, quite indeed. Let's tell a story to the child. Now it is the ace that opens the door to our own fate. Hmm, yes, quite how extravagant, don't you agree, my child? How oh, is this like a dream? I can go look for my father, my mother, after the war ends. Oh, you poor child. <laughs> yes, queen. Don't waste your time babysitting like that. We don't. Why don't you think about how to get back into the castle? I... just a kid, but I can show you how to get in the castle. Oh, can you? Yes, yes. This place used to be a fortress, so there's a secret path into the Black Castle. Oh, a secret path. No, now we're closer to Dole. Come with me, come with me. Please. Oh, please wait. Yes, quite indeed. If we fail, it'll be too risky for you. Hmm, yes, quite indeed. We will need to come back after we prepare. Oh, yeah, I get you, I get you. Are we waiting the secret path? Hurry, hurry. There he goes. Any, any loot in this place? Wait. Really? 
There's nothing behind the stairs? Hold up, there has to be more, right? Okay, I was six and a six. I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this is an unnecessary amaze. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, that's just is the way out. Okay, I understand. Okay, well, I actually think stopping at the same point, uh, it's a good time to stop the video. So, I hope everybody had a good time. Tell me in the future. Please like, comment, subscribe, and remember to stay fabulous.